Welcome back to Fox and Friends. Heartbreaking photos reveal at least six unaccompanied migrant children encountered by Texas DPS this week, only emphasizing the ongoing humanitarian crisis perpetrated by open border policies. So far, 46 thousand unaccompanied migrant children have been accompanied uh, I'm sorry have been encountered by CBP Th that is just this fiscal year alone continuing to outpace previous records here with reaction is National Border Patrol Council president <clears throat> Brandon Judd Brandon welcome we also know that 80,000 children have been lost by our system um, what is going on here has have you seen any effort at all by this administration to address this crisis with children specifically? Not at all. And there's nothing more disheartening for a Border Patrol agent to, than to encounter unaccompanied children. This is the reason that we got, that we became so outspoken back in the Obama administration under the unaccompanied children crisis back then. And you would have thought that Joe Biden, when he claims that he cares about people, that he would put policies in place to protect these children, to stop encouraging them from coming, um, putting themselves in the hands of these criminal, car these dangerous criminal cartels. When they're in their hands, these children are abused. These children are, are neglected. They're not fed very well. And when they come into our custody, then we have to see that. We have to deal with it. And it is so, it's heartbreaking yeah. to see how scared these children are. And it's unfortunate that Biden continues to allow it to happen. Yeah, Brandon, I still remember that Time Magazine photo of Donald Trump. And then they photoshopped a little girl looking up at him crying um, when, uh, by the way, her mother took her across the border, brought her to the United States, unbeknownst to her own father. So, I mean, you have these situations where, just like the photos we just saw of little children with papers, safety pinned to them with the number of where they go. If I sent my child, uh, Brandon, across the border, across the most dangerous border in the world on this dangerous journey, um, with just all by herself, with just a paper, I would be reported to social services, but our government will simply reunite these children with the people on this paper, and there is no DNA testing. I know that because my husband was in Congress, and they were trying to get DNA, and the Democrats were blocking DNA testing to see if the children match the adults who are, who are, who are being uh, paired back with them once they cross the border. Yeah, when, when President Trump was in office, we had rapid DNA testing. We could quickly verify whether these children were uh, actually the children of these, these individuals. Now we have none of that. Obama, uh, I'm sorry, Biden got rid of all of that. Why? And, and what Rachel, was the rationale behind worse. that? What was the rationale behind he, no DNA test to match with the adults? He's never given any rationale for anything that he does. He just does it, and the mainstream media covers for him. So it's like it, it, it didn't even happen. And that's what's so frustrating to every single one of us. We want to protect these children. We want to protect everybody that crosses the border illegally. We just can't do it because we don't have the proper policies in place. And that's what it becomes so difficult for agents to get up in the morning or at night, put on that uniform to go out knowing that we're not going to be able to do the job that is necessary to protect these people or protect Americans citizens. It's complete, total chaos, and this administration does not care. They give lip service, but their actions prove that they do not care about people. Yeah. They seem to have a lot of attention on the children when Trump was in office, but as the situation has gotten much worse, I mean, to this level, they show no interest in the children at all. Our government is totally complicit in this, and so are these religious NGOs, which just steams me. Yes. Brandon Judd, I don't know how you and the Border Patrol keep your morale up, um, but we are backing you, we're behind you, and we're praying for you because this is, um, th this just seems just unbelievable. Thank you for joining us this morning. And Rachel, we need it. Thank you. Yeah, you got it. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilney. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.